All right, so welcome to this week's uh, market review. Um, we're going to be taking a quick look at a couple of commodities for the week, and we're going to be trying to formulate a bias for, um, you know, some of the major currencies in the market and, uh, you know, probably take a look at the best or most preferable entry, uh, entry points for particular movements. All right, so we're going to be starting by checking the currency indices as usual. Um, this is in order to give us uh, an overview of what direction some of these commodities would be interested in heading, heading towards. Um, so currently we're on the chart of the Euro index. All right, this is the Euro index. Um, and as you can see, we, we've had this um, downtrend all the way down here, and then we have this break of trend line, okay, with some really, really strong impulse to the upside. And currently prices coming back down um, to refill this entire imbalance here, all right? So the major area that we'll be watching out for, for, uh, for entries, all right, uh, to the upside, is mostly somewhere within um, either this other block zone, somewhere within this other block region, all right, or somewhere within the vicinity of this trend line, such that uh, um, if we see a retest of this trend line that was initially broken, all right, if we see a, a retest of that trend line which was initially broken, we can take a ride to the upside. But in the meantime, um, this would be my expectation on. Uh, the euro index, uh, you know, would see some temporary um, decline in momentum, and then we can see price come this far, all right, or maybe even uh, break out of this trend line to somewhere like this, then come back down before we have a return, um, you know, maybe to the upside or something. Uh, however, this is my uh, this is my view of the market. Um, this is my view of the market. This is just what I um, want to see the market do in the nearest future. Concerning the euro index, so that means that we're still quite bearish on the euro index, at least um, from the daily time frame. Uh, I'm really rooting for this area because, as you can see, there's a really strong zone around here. That's a really strong zone, and I want to see price get there. I want to see price tap into that area uh, and give some really, really nice reactions from that area over there. All right, so that's my expectation on the euro index. That's my expectation on the Euro index. So we're bearish on the Euro index. Um, we're gonna take a look at, um, let's see, we're gonna take a look at the dollar index. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, the dollar index, let me see that load up first. Okay, here it is, US dollar index. All right, so this is on the daily time frame US dollar index, and um, we are at an uh, interesting zone. All right, we're at an interesting zone. We've seen this, um, we've seen those equal lows right around there. So the break to the downside, we've seen this, um, we've seen this equal highs over here. You know, with a break to the upside, we've seen uh, this happen too. 
All right, so we can say that we have price moving within this really large range. All right, we have um, we have this as a major trend line. So basically, we want to see some reaction from this range. All right, some solid reaction from this range in order to be able to validate our direction. All right, such that if we have a bullish confirmation on um, the dollar index, then we know that we will be bullish on most um, US dollar pairs. All right, so that's just how this, this uh, analysis works. And as you can see, we have this trend line that price is currently retesting. All right, price broke it initially, um, came down to this other block zone here. came down to that other block zone there, and then we're pushing up. However, um, I would say the limit to this up move, upward movement would be a uh, maximum here, all right? So that we can maybe see a stronger movement to the downside, at least to somewhere around here, based on uh, this really solid zone that we have here. You know, we have this and it overlaps exactly with um, that overall supply zone or demand zone rather, um, which is this. All right, so I want to see price uh, get to this area. All right, so uh, in the meantime, though, let me see on the four hours so that we know um, how close we are to this movement. All right, as we can see, we've had a rejection from this zone. All right, so we've seen that rejection. So most likely when price gets back to that zone, it would most likely be broken so that um, we can then have a proper reaction from this area. All right, which, like I said, is my is my main target. Um, however, let's see. I think we have this as a trend line, which might also come in quite handy. It might also come in quite handy. So, uh, but in the meantime, we're still um, on the short term. We have a short term bullish expectation on the dollar index. All right. So we're still quite bullish, which is um, a short term. All right, at least in the short term. Um, let's see. Let's see which other commodity, uh, which other index we can look at before we go into analyzing the currency pairs. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what that is. We've done US dollar index, we've done euro index. Um, all right, I think that's about all that we have here. Let me see if we can use TDC to complete the rest.
All right, so um, here we have BXY on the daily. Um, I think I want to start from the weekly on this one. All right, so here we are on um, BXY on the weekly time frame. And you can see um, prices in this gradual um, downtrend, all right, this gradual downtrend. We see price at this trend line, all right. We're seeing price at this trend line at the moment. Um, so, Although right here, it looks like we have a shift of speed structure, but uh, nonetheless, I would be watching to see what happens around this zone, all right, where we have the trend line. So let's go to the daily time frame and see if we have a confirmation on that. All right, so uh, basically what I want to check for is I want to see what price reaction around this area looks like. All right, if price continues to reject around this zone, then we can rest assured that price will head much lower. All right. Um, so we're a little bit uh, bearish on um, BXY. So let's see, let's see what JPY looks like at the moment. All right, so this is JPY index on the daily time frame. And um, I think here we have uh, some really nice setups um, beginning to form okay I think I have that long ago. All right, so this was my um, this was my setup on JPY a couple of weeks ago, where I uh, made it clear that JPY was added lower. However, I didn't get to my final take profit, which was somewhere around here. All right, so currently we are seeing uh, some bullish movement on JPY index, at least on the daily time frame. All right. Um, But this happens to be an area that I want to watch out for. Um, you know, that, uh, that's an interesting zone right there. And coupled with the fact that, uh, you know, we have this trend line which might be lining up with that region. All right, and the overall trend line that is also somewhere around there. Um, then if we couple it with um, a bit of a measured move um, confirmation, we see that that aligns quite nicely with our, uh, with our sweet spot. So basically what I want to see is, um, I want to see this kind of movement a list um, if at all we will be added um, to the upside anytime soon. All right, that's 
what I want to uh, see in order to be able to confirm uh, the, uh, the intentions of the JPY index in the meantime. All right, so having said this, it means that one of the commodities that we will be looking for the best entries on should be Euro JPY, all right? Since we have a bullish uh, bias, on the JPY and a bearish bias on the Euro index. All right, so that means that we should be bearish on Euro JPY. All right, which as you can see has already started playing out on the daily time frame. All right, has already started playing out on the daily time frame. And um, We might be heading all the way down to retest that trend line. All right, we might be going all the way down to retest that particular trend line. So remember, this is on the daily time frame. So that means that um, these setups are most likely going to take a couple of days to play out. All right to play out perfectly. So it's gonna require a great deal of patience on your part to be able to find the best entries that would suit you perfectly for your risk, um, for, for an appropriate risk management um, um, trade, all right? So as you can see, I think this has, this has worked out uh, quite nicely. All right, so um, since we are still heading all the way down there, all right, we're still going to approach. Please mute, please mute, please mute. All right, so we're still going to approach all the way down here. At least that's my expectation since we've already taken out this lows. All right, we've already taken out those lows right there. All right, so um, that's that for this. All right, so we've taken out those lows there and um, we see price still going a little bit lower. Uh, so structure definitely seems to have changed. Uh, so let's see how that continues. All right, let's see how that continues. So having said that, um, let's also check for, um, I think we're bearish on pound. So let's see GBP, JPY. GPJPY should also be quite bearish. All right, and this is looking quite nice already. Um, All right, so I basically just want to see um, price break out of this trend line, come back for a retest, and then we can add um, a lot lower. All right, so we might be going, um, might be coming this far, all right? So uh, currently GBP, JPY is, um, is still within this wedge kind of formation. 
So we want to see price break below this, come back up for a retest and then drop much lower, all right? Okay, so um, let's take a look at um, GBP USD. I'll also look at Euro USD, and from there we look at gold and wrap up for tonight. All right, let's see GBP USD on the daily time frame. All right, I had all of that marked up already. Um, we're seeing one of the scenarios play out. It dropped from that other block. All right, we had the first arm of this play out perfectly. Um, so currently what we're seeing is this second movement where um, you know price is returning back into that area. All right, which means that we didn't really break out of this zone. All right, we haven't really broken out of this zone. So price might come back one more time to retest this trend line, all right, for a retest of this trend line, which will confirm what we have um, saying that USD, when we checked the USD index, we saw that USD would um, at least bullish for a short while, whereas the pound would be bearish at least for a little while, all right? So we might see price push lower to retest this equal lows, all right? Um, so let's quickly check Euro USD. Although the bullish momentum on the US dollar at the moment is not all that con convincing, it's not really convincing, but um, I think it's something we can still work with. All right, daily time frame. Let's zoom in, see what's going on there. All right, uh, so from this zone, we can see that the drop is still happening. It's still a clean drop. That this was our analysis from last week. You know, we had all of these zones marked out, and price is reacting beautifully to all of that. We've had this push back up, and we're seeing this drop right now. So I think that that pretty much um, gives. Uh, gives clarity to the market direction or my expectation for this week. So we might see some bearish movement on Euro USD, um, at least a bit more on Euro USD in the meantime. All right. But for right now, I would be looking to see some ranges on USD JPY, which is why I'm going to be avoiding it since um, they are both bullish, at least on the short term. All right. At least on the short term, they are both. Bullish. So let's quickly take a look at gold, XAUUSD. Okay, this is gold on the daily time frame. I don't think I saw this coming because I think I was expecting um, something else entirely. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think I see that now. All right, I see that now. And as you can see, uh, we had all of this set up quite nicely. All right, I was expecting this to happen initially. And right about now, it's playing out um, as expected. All right, it's playing out as expected. However, um, there are quite a number of um, areas to be aware of, all right, at least on the daily time frame.
um, as one of such would be this area right here. Okay, I mean, all right, um, this area right here. We should be expecting some um, pretty reactions from that zone, all right? Price would um, break out all the way to the top, all right? Or in the worst case scenario, um, we might be seeing Okay, that's a confirmation as to that. All right, so we see that within that area, we also have um, a trend line confirmation. And the second trend line. So we have um, about two trend lines in that in that vicinity. So we should be seeing some kind of a bearish reaction from that zone, all right? We should see some bearish reaction from that zone, all right? So that is that for the currency markets for this week, all right? If you have any um, commodity you would like to request, send a request in the Telegram group and it will be responded to um, as soon as possible, all right? Um, our setups are usually over 88% accurate, and we usually, usually cross the market every single week. All right. So I look forward to seeing you in the Telegram group. I look forward to working more with you, and I wish you a really, really rewarding trading week. All right. So have yourself a lovely evening, and God bless you.